James Cameron, pourquoi aimez-vous tant la science-fiction Est-ce que c'est lié à des films que vous avez vus dans votre enfance qui vous ont donné le goût du genre I was definitely a science fiction geek when I was a kid. Um, I used to, uh, I lived in one town and I went to school in another town. I rode a bus each way about an hour and a half every day, uh, each direction. So I rode, a, 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 while I rode the bus, I read books and uh, they were always science fiction or fantasy books. And, uh, you know, I read a book a day, a book every other day, just a voracious diet of it. And as I read these, these stories of other planets, other worlds, other times, alien cultures, I would I'd draw pictures because I was a, an artist. And I, uh, I always had to interpret what I was reading with, with images. So Avatar, decades later, was a way for me to take all these ideas that I've been working on in, in my imagination for a long time, put them all into one movie. Et si vous êtes vivant, vous êtes une icône, vous de la science-fiction, notamment depuis la saga Alien. Est-ce que vous en êtes fier ou est-ce que c'est une étiquette qui parfois est un peu embarrassante Actually, I I read a lot of adventure and fantasy growing up. I I used to read about a book a day too, and a lot. I loved Jules Verne. Um, I didn't like a lot of science fiction per se because it seemed rather cerebral. Um, and actually, something Jim said at Comic Con has really resonated for me. He said that science fiction was the the exploration of what it means to be human. And that was something that was very interesting to me. What makes me an earthling? And so I grew up doing that, and then I didn't expect to go into science fiction. To me, it's a wonderful thing to bring to the audience, to take them out of this world and bring them to another world. I've never felt, uh, you know, cornered by roles that, for instance, Jim wrote for me in Aliens, and sometimes you can appreciate a more powerful woman if she's in another world. 